Good morning, everybody. I just moved. Nowhere dramatic like last time, but school year is about to start, so I moved back to my campus, and I kind of wanted to do like a little moving in vlog slash updating you on like what is going on in my life because the amount of confused DMs I've gotten being like, where are you going? Where do you go to school? Are you even a student? Where do you live? What country are you in? Blah, blah, blah. So <laughs> I'm gonna answer all those questions in this video as I also unpack my new apartment and at the end of this video, do a little apartment tour. So I got my keys yesterday, moved all of my boxes in that I've been in a storage unit for this entire year. So this is my first time seeing all my stuff. I've been living out of two suitcases since January, which again, I'll get into when I'm explaining what's going on. So this is my first time like reuniting with all of my belongings and it's such a like, it's a great feeling to be honest. I have this apartment leased for the entire school year until I graduate so I can finally like settle down at least for like one year which is the longest I've been in one place in five years. Um, I moved into a studio apartment at Arizona State University which is my home university. I've never gone here for a full year which is why everyone's so confused. This will be my first full school year at ASU and it is my senior year. But I wanted to give you a little overview of what we're working with. So this is what my apartment's looking like. There's just boxes upon boxes upon boxes and I don't even know what is in all of these boxes. Basically I moved in around noon yesterday and I was moving until 8 p.m. I finished because I was going from here to my parents' house which is like 30, 40 minutes away, getting all my stuff in from the storage unit. So it took all day and then I didn't get a chance to unpack anything because last night I went to the Wallows concert, which started at 8.45. So I literally had no time to get ready, but that was super awesome. It wasn't even a concert, it was free. Like they came to my school and performed in our stadium and it was free entry for the students, which was so awesome. All I did was make my bed and pass the fuck out. So this vlog is probably gonna be over the next like week of me unpacking because you know damn well I'm not doing this all in one day. I know myself and as much as I want to get something done all at one time, like when I start a task, I need to finish it. I know it's not realistic with this because I start school tomorrow. Ugh. See, the problem is I don't know where to start because there's boxes everywhere on top of like the drawers and the furniture. So I can't even access the drawers. So we can start like folding my clothes, I guess. Uh, I really don't want to do this, but filming myself is going to motivate me to start. So sorry about my air conditioning. It's really loud and there's no way for me to control it. I'm going to start hanging things up in my closet as I tell you my life story. I have this box of like, oh, it's so heavy of like shirts I think. I don't really know. I didn't pack very organized. I need hangers. Like what am I doing? Okay. Let me just like rewind to the beginning of time because to the beginning of time meaning my existence because I feel like that's a good place to start because a lot of people are confused when I say my hometown or whatever. I was born in New Jersey in the United States of America. I grew up there spent all my childhood and all of my family my grandparents my aunts uncles cousins on both sides of my family, all live in New Jersey. We all grew up there. Life was great, life was swell. Went to the beach every day, lived my life. Made a bunch of friends. And then my dad was like, haha, I got a job in Arizona, across the country, the hottest state in the world. So I spent my teenage years in Arizona, went to middle and high school there, here, like made new friends and decided to go to college here because I got a good scholarship. So after I graduated high school in 2019, I started college at Arizona State University when I was 17 years old. And then I spent my first year in the dorms, living my best life, getting to know everyone. I didn't have a YouTube channel or anything then, just living my normal college days. And then I spent my whole life going back to New Jersey every summer. So. I spent my summers in New Jersey with all my family and I refer to my hometown as like in New Jersey. So like whenever I say my hometown, I'm talking about my town in New Jersey, which is where I spend all of my summers. Anyway, so back to my freshman year of college at ASU, I had the whole in-person classes first semester and then COVID hit second semester and we all got sent home. So I didn't get to spend a full year on campus. We got sent home at the beginning of March. That was annoying. My first year in college, I was like, it's ruined. We didn't get the dorm experience. Like we only were in the dorms for five months. Whatever, whatever. I was really upset about that, but I got over it, as one does. Did school online like the rest of the world. And then my sophomore year, which started in 2020, I lived in an apartment off campus. I was basically on campus, but our school was all online. So I could have done it from home, but 
everyone was still kind of living on campus with the hopes that one day we'd be going back to in-person classes. Um, so I lived in an apartment and that is where I started my YouTube channel. The end of my sophomore year of college in that apartment is where it all began. That's where I had the collage wall and I started my YouTube channel. Yeah, great memes. Then my junior year, I knew I wanted to study abroad. I wanted to do it for the full year, but it wasn't realistic with COVID. At the start of my junior year, it was up in the air. Are we gonna be in person or online? Like we didn't know yet. So the borders weren't open to go anywhere in Europe or Australia or anything, which is where our abroad options were. So I decided just to wait and do second semester. So I did first person my junior year on campus at ASU. This was only my second semester now being on campus. I had all in person. My freshman and sophomore year, I was a marketing business major and I switched during my sophomore year during COVID because I hate math. I absolutely despise math, but I knew I wanted to go into like some kind of marketing online, like social media advertising vibe. So I switched my sophomore year to communications, which was the best decision I ever made because now I'm in so many more classes that I enjoy that are not about math because I literally hate math. I'd rather do public speaking over math any day. So now I'm in communications, which I get asked a lot. But back to my junior year, I did the first semester in person doing communications. Then I started applying for study abroad programs in around October of my junior year last year in 2021. I really wanted to study abroad. I had no idea where I, I, I in the back of my mind, I always wanted to go to London. It was my number one place I wanted to visit, my number one place I wanted to live. I just felt like this, like, I don't know if anyone feels this towards a place, but I felt like I was meant to live there. Um, since I used to watch the British YouTubers and I was like a peak 1D fangirl, I was like, I just know in my bones that I'm meant to live in England and I don't even care where, just I want to live there or try it out. So when I applied, I only applied to England. I didn't even think about anywhere else. ASU has like a great study abroad program where they just partner with a bunch of schools and you're basically automatically in the school you don't even really you have to apply but you're automatically accepted pretty much and you just swap places with someone from their university so you go to their university and they come to ASU and so you both just get accepted so that's what I did I was applying to schools in London but they were all full. I guess people apply to those schools like a year in advance and I didn't know that. Even though I wanted to study abroad that whole time, I didn't know how early you had to apply. So I was so upset because I was like, I'm not gonna get to go to London. Like this is all I wanted this whole time. And I wanted to go abroad so badly. I just was like, okay, I'm gonna apply to a school outside of London because I'm still going, I don't care. And that is how I ended up at the University of Sussex. My second semester of my junior year, I applied because I saw it was in Brighton, which I was familiar with because Zoella lives there. <laughs> and then I started watching like so many of her old YouTube videos, her and Alfie, getting so excited. And I was like, wait, I actually think I'm really gonna love Brighton. I love the beach. I love the town. Maybe it will be nice to be outside of the city and not in London. I got accepted. I was so excited to just like move. I literally just wanted like, an, I feel like the years of COVID, I don't know. I felt like I was really like trapped. Obviously I have my friends and stuff, but I was like, I need more than this. I'm bored. Like I wanna travel and I wanna do stuff and like we haven't been able to do anything because of COVID. So when I got accepted, my program was set to start in January. So the second semester, I would be there January till May and I was ready to do it all on my own. I got the dorms, I got everything set up and I was just so excited to tell all my friends like, see ya, I'm going to England. And then a mutual friend of mine was studying in Italy and she was like, oh, I have a friend who was supposed to go to Australia, but Australia closed the borders. So she's looking at England. I should give her your number so you guys can talk. And she ended up setting me up with Lauren, who if you watch my channel, she's in like every single video from when I'm abroad because we became inseparable <laughs> while we were there. So we were like texting and she's like, is it cool if I go to Sussex too? Like, I don't want to intrude on you, but whatever. And I, at first I was like, Ugh, I don't know. Like maybe I do want to do it on my own. It's so nice that she's like even asking. At that time I was the only one from ASU signed up to go to Sussex. And I was like, no, like you can come, of course. I don't own the school, you know? So she applied, she got in and we started like texting a lot and like figure out our dorming situation and our travel plans. And we weren't gonna live together, but we wanted to be in like the same dorm building. So then we finished off our first semester of our junior year. And then we packed our bags over winter break and flew to England the first week of January of 2022. And we spent that entire second semester of our junior year at University of Sussex in Brighton, which is the best decision I've ever made in my entire life. I've never had a better experience. I'm about to cry thinking about it. Oh my God. It was the best time of my entire life. We literally did 
everything you can imagine. We traveled, we went out, we made friends, we went to school, we did everything you could possibly do. It was incredible. Like we went to so many different countries. It is just like a time in my life that I will be nostalgic over forever. But unfortunately, we finished school halfway through May, traveled a little bit, saw Harry Styles together, and then she came back to the States before I did. I was not ready to leave. And I stayed until my visa expired the last week of June. I stayed for like an extra two weeks by myself, which was also an incredible experience. I got a long-term Airbnb right on the coast in Brighton where I was really familiar with, but I never like lived there alone because I'd always been with Lauren. Um, so it was a really cool experience to like do everything alone for those two weeks. I honestly like really enjoyed myself and it gave me a taste of what it would have been like to actually live there in the city, in an apartment rather than on campus. And I really liked those two weeks. I felt like it was a really like self-reflecting moment because I did everything alone. So yeah, then I flew back to the States. I flew directly to New Jersey because that is where my family spends our summers, like I mentioned. So a lot of people were confused when I was posting, oh, I'm home, I'm home. And they're like, where are you? I think this is when people started to get confused because I never really talked about New Jersey on my channel. It just never came up because I made my channel during COVID when we couldn't travel. So I flew directly there and that was super fun. I got to hang out with my cousins and my childhood friends and just reunite with everyone. But I honestly did not want to come back at all. I was really, really upset that my abroad was over. I'm still upset. But yeah, that was this summer that just passed. And now I just came back to ASU and it is officially time for my senior year and it will be my first year on campus for a full year. So that is basically the rundown. It's honestly hard to keep up with, I know. I've moved nine times in four years. My senior year of high school, my parents moved out of our childhood home. We moved into a condo while our other house was getting ready for us to move into. So I moved from a house I grew up in in Arizona to a condo, to my dorm, back to my parents' new house, then to my sophomore year apartment, back to my parents' house, packed up again for my junior year apartment, moved there for one semester, packed up again, moved to England, <laughs> packed up again when that was over, and now I'm here. And as much as I love change and travel, it is really hard to live out of a suitcase and constantly pack up and never being settled down so honestly just like unpacking a closet right now feels great it does kind of just excited to be in one place for now but I graduate in the spring in May and let me tell you this I'm not staying in Arizona so <laughs> I will be moving again we'll figure that out together as time goes on where I'm gonna end up I have two ideas of where I'm gonna go so I'm planning on just doing my social media after I graduate for as long as it will allow me to, but I always have my communications degree in my back pocket for when I need that, which I know the day will come when YouTube dies. So yeah, that's my life story for everyone that was confused, which was I'm sure a lot of people. A lot of people are also confused when I say I'm a senior because I'm 20 years old. Um, I turned 21 in November. I'm just really young for my grade. Like my friend turns 22 tomorrow. That's absurd. And we're in the same grade. So like, <laughs> I'm just young for my grade. Hope that clears up some of the confusion. I think I answered the majority of the commonly asked questions in that long spiel. I'm gonna finish hanging up these clothes off camera and then we'll see what I get to next. I'm gonna go grocery shopping today. So I'll do a little grocery shopping haul. Something is so satisfying about grocery shopping when you move to a new place. Just like having a stocked fridge. Hope you enjoyed my life story. This is gonna be a very long vlog, I think. Okay, I just got back from the grocery store so i'm gonna do a little grocery haul for you i got so much stuff this was over 200 dollars worth of food it hurts my soul to spend that much money on groceries but it's what needs to be done so i had to get like the staples so i'll start with the boring stuff that i needed like cleaning supplies wipes laundry detergent trash bags soap i got toilet paper and paper towels but i put those under the sink already dishwasher okay food i got the store brand of everything because the groceries are so expensive right now honey bunches of oats off-brand version rice crispy off-brand version another honey bunches of oats store brand pasta rotini is my favorite and then the bow ties peanuts microwave popcorn rice cakes the ranch flavor are the best second best are butter popcorn got two of those peanut butter and bananas, my fave combo. Tortilla chips. Okay, now let's move over to the refrigerator section. I literally just put everything away. Butter, eggs, coffee creamer, ranch, milk, don't judge me. That's for my cereal. Pickles, duh. Hot girls love eating pickles. Guac and hummus. If I am anything, it is a dip girl. Love a good dip. Pasta sauce, peaches, sweet peppers, bread, red grapes, and I made sure they looked like they were crunchy, shredded cheese,
cucumbers, celery. Oh, now it's the freezer. Vegetable pizza, Eggo waffles. And that is my entire grocery haul. It is 4.30 and I'm about to eat and I'm so excited. I can't wait. I think I'm gonna eat cucumbers and hummus. That honestly sounds delish and I can eat it right away. Ta-da. Tell me why this is like my favorite meal ever. I'm the most plain person ever. Okay, it's a lot later now. As you can tell, it's dark out. By the way, my view at night, it's making me feel like I'm living in a big city. Manifesting some New York or London energy. I went through all my makeup and put them in these drawers. So I'll show you that please look at my mirror i got this on amazon it was like expensive but it's exactly what i needed because look how good the lighting is i can film at night with this like i don't need a ring light anymore i have my mirror it doesn't look organized but in my head it is this is all mascara lip products face products pencils and liners foundation skin tints brushes powdered products beauty blenders liquid products eyelashes right here all of my palettes and then back here all my extra beauty blenders I swear it starts to get a little chaotic my contacts random stuff hair stuff q-tips the headband i use to pull my hair back perfumes and vaseline this is the chaotic drawer it's literally just all my nail polishes fake nails if i ever put those on all my head scarf headbands stuff like that tanning mitt hair ties stuff like that i literally just want to crawl into bed so bad like oh my sheets how cute are my sheets first of all they're like blue and white floral they're actually from target and then i have just all white comforter set and then those pillows are supposed to be on my bed but i never ever ever make my bed okay so i think i actually am gonna set up my record player and my vinyls on this little like bed bookshelf thing i was thinking i'm gonna put my physical tbr books there or maybe my all-time favorites like five star books so stay tuned for my book organizing video so we can figure that out together so like that's what i was gonna put in this cubby right here but then on the top i think i'm gonna put my record player and all my vinyls so i'm gonna do a vinyl haul even though i've accumulated them for the past like maybe like seven eight years <laughs> my first final ever was made in the am by one direction this is where the setup is gonna be don't know how practical this oh i found my ac unit it's this why is it behind my bed i was literally like oh i can't control the air conditioning in here that sucks oh my god i found it okay wait let me inspect this real quick no wonder i was so hot last night that thing was set to 78 and then they tried to hide it behind this so i couldn't change it but you already know my ass set it to 67 so Anyway, let's set up the record player. I have the Victrola briefcase record player. Looks like this. It's very practical to like travel with because obviously it just closes up. It's super tiny. I'm gonna put this over on that side because the plug is over there. Actually, there's a plug on both sides right here. And now let's go through all my vinyls. Only allow myself to spend the money on a vinyl if I know like 80 to 100% of the songs on that album. So if you're curious to what songs I listen to, these are all my vinyls. In no order, I'm just picking them up. Heartbreak Weather by Niall Horan. Harry Styles by Harry Styles. Folklore by Taylor Swift. My favorite album of all time. Nothing will ever beat it. Except maybe Evermore by Taylor Swift. And then I have 1989. And then I have Red by Taylor Swift. And before you come for me, I got this way before Red Taylor's version was even a star in the sky. So I don't want to hear it. Fine Line by Harry Styles. The 1975 by the 1975 lover by taylor swift then i have up all night by one direction four by one direction made in the am by one direction my first vinyl like i told you something really really sad is they don't make a midnight memories vinyl and then i ordered take me home from urban outfitters last august and it got back ordered and back ordered back ordered it still has not come actually like a week and a half ago i got an email that it delivered to an address i no longer live at and then I called the building and I was like, hey, my package that they got delivered. And they said, sorry, we don't accept mail from people that aren't residents. So it's already shipped back to sender. Can't get a hold of anyone. It was expensive and I lost my money and I never got the vinyl. So if anyone has any solutions to that and what I can do and the fact that it was limited edition, and I don't know if I'll ever find that album again is really frustrating. And I really don't want to spend the money on it again, even if I were to find it again. I don't want to spend the money on it again because it's like $70 for a vinyl because I already bought it and it just never came. 
team. It's not my fault. Anyway, that's why my One Direction collection is not complete. Then I have Mama's Boy by Lainey. Sour by Olivia Rodrigo, of course. I got Views by Drake and Goodbye and Good Riddance by Juice World in like, I think I bought these in like 2018, 2019, um, when I was in like my rap phase. So I was a big Khalid girl when American Teen came out. Louis Capaldi, this album makes me ball my eyes out. He is so talented. Oh my God, I haven't even opened this one yet. Harry's House by Harry Styles because I've already opened this one because I have two. I got the picture disc. Guys, this is the coolest thing I've ever, ever owned. Do you see that? He's literally printed on it. The only reason I bought this was because it gave me early access to buying concert tickets when I was living in the UK. So I bought this to get a code to get early access and then I didn't even get tickets to one night only. But I honestly thought the picture disc was gonna be a CD. So imagine my excitement when I opened this. So yeah. I have that version of Harry's house and then I have the regular Harry's house from his website. Oh, this is one of my favorite pictures of him ever of all time in my entire life have I ever seen something that adorable. I got the glass like turquoise pressing. <gasps> That is so cool. Those are on my vinyls. I'm gonna put them up here and then show you. Okay, so I ended up moving it to over there. It looks like this right now because I need to lean those against the wall. So yeah, that's what it looks like. I have to set up my coffee machine so I can have coffee before class tomorrow because school starts tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so upset. I'm so upset about school starting. Like I hate school. Also, I dropped my mirror. This is so sad. I've had this full length mirror since I moved to my dorm like four years ago. And it is my old reliable, my staple. I got it at Ikea. I love it so much. It's perfect. It's so light and easy to travel with for someone who moves so much. And it was leaning against the wall and I pushed a box not thinking and it knocked the mirror over and it was literally in slow-mo. I tried to run jump over the box to catch the mirror. It hit the ground. I thought it was gonna shatter. And then when I turned it over, cracked right there, which I mean, it's still like usable. Knowing me, I'm just gonna keep it like that. But how unfortunate, right? I wanna show you my closet progress. I shit you not, I've been doing this for hours. <laughs> I've rearranged, reorganized, it's been folding, hanging. Here's what we're working with. I ran out of space and I ran out of hangers. So I have to stop here. Jeans, sweatshirts, black, t-shirts and tank tops, neutral t-shirts and tank tops, white t-shirts and tank tops, dresses. Ran out of hangers, still have a box full of dresses. So I need to fill that gap with more dresses. <laughs> All my long sleeves and random colored things that I wanted to have their own section so I could go like, I'm feeling a bit colorful. My laundry basket. All my shoes under here, they go all the way back to there. Then I have like this thing, which came really in handy. It's like you just hang it up. And I have my sweatpants, jean shorts, leather and black pants, workish pants, workout stuff. But I still have a whole box full of pants, a box full of dresses, and then here's like skirts and miscellaneous stuff. So I'd say I've been making some good progress. I also um, was getting so annoyed with my books all over the floor because they were everywhere because I had taken them out of the boxes. I literally <laughs> re-put them in the boxes because I was like, why did I just throw them on the floor? So I re-put them in the boxes and I decided I'm just gonna do a whole separate video of me organizing my books, going through my books, unpacking my books. That's gonna be a separate video. So literally one, two, three, four, five, plus that suitcase are all full of books. And that leaves me with just this box of miscellaneous stuff, this box of miscellaneous stuff, and this box of miscellaneous stuff. Oh, then I also wanna show you my bathroom. I'm obsessed with this bathroom. Like, I think I've already shown you it, but like my shower and stuff, I put my random products in. I have some of my perfumes that I use like on the daily there. Soap, toothbrush, men's deodorant, duh, and my hairbrush. And then under here, I have an extra towel. I have two towels hanging right there and then an extra one. All of my random bathroom products are in this basket, not organized. Makeup remover, hair tools, toilet paper, box of random PR stuff that I haven't opened yet, my hair rollers, skincare, and cotton pads, stuff like that, all under my sink. So I think I'm getting a lot done, to be honest, and I'm fucking exhausted, but it's only 9 p.m., so I could do more, but like, should I like treat myself and just get in bed and read and say it's because I have school tomorrow, so I have to be in bed early, even though I know damn well I'm not going to bed till 3 a.m. <laughs> Setting up my little coffee station, but I have my Keurig right here. This Keurig has been broken for like a year, but somehow my dad fixed it. What a king. Anyway, then right here, mugs for easy access. I have two more mugs right there. I have my, my mom got me this before I moved to England and I didn't think I would ever drink it. It's English afternoon tea and it's in this cute ass tin. I didn't think I'd like tea and now that I love tea, 
it's in there along with my Saturn burn instant coffees which are when I make iced coffee I use that when I make hot coffee I use this is what I use instead of like k-cups and then I have my sleep tea which I'm gonna make soon because I'm obsessed with tea now <laughs> when I have to have it before I go to bed it's literally impossible for me to sleep without it that's my coffee station I just set up oh yeah that's so cute okay this is what I did in my last apartment. I literally just use like tacks. To hang this up. I'm really measuring it with my fingers. Oh, oh, does she look straight? No. Wait, kinda. I did it! Bob the Builder, can we fix it? <gasps> Good morning. It's the first day of school. <laughs> It's 9.08. I don't have class till noon. I don't know why I woke up so early. I just get anxious about getting ready and being there on time. I don't want to go. <laughs> last year, I'm in really, really hard classes. Probably the hardest I've ever taken. Because last term I was studying abroad. So the classes that were hard that I was supposed to take last semester, I'm taking now. And then I also added a minor. So I'm majoring in communications and I'm minoring in media analysis. So I have all my minor classes. So I'm in all upper division, like hard classes. I have a math class. <laughs> it's not technically math, but it's quantitative methods in research for communications. And my friends took it last semester and told me it was the hardest class they've ever taken. And then my counselor, when I had like my meeting to choose my classes was like, this class is the highest dropout rate at ASU. And I can't drop out, it's my last year. <laughs> I just realized it's my last first day of school ever. Some people might think that's sad. That makes me so happy. <laughs> Time has come by so fast though. I have one of those memories. I don't know, maybe this is just a me thing, but I have memories from when I was a kid where I literally was like, you will remember this. You will remember this. And I engraved it in my head. One of my biggest ones is I was on the bus in probably like second grade on the way home. And in my head, I was like, oh my God, like one day you're gonna be in high school. One day you're gonna go to college. And in my head, I was like, there's literally no way. Like there's no way time will pass. Like I just don't see that. Like that's, it sounded so crazy and unrealistic to me. And in my head, I was like, remember this moment when you're in college <laughs> and I still remember it and I was in like second grade and now I'm almost done I just got home from my first class of the day I have like a really awkward hour and 15 minute break between my classes so I came back home to honestly cool off because it's 115 degrees outside and I thought I would do a little bit more unpacking because I don't have enough time to like really do anything so I'm just gonna start unpacking again because I want to get these boxes out of my face but yeah that's what my coffee table is looking like I'm gonna put away some of the random stuff that like isn't interesting I need to like have a few junk drawers not for actual junk, but like for random shit like this. Like where does one put their Beats headphones? I need to find a drawer for this kind of stuff. It's almost time for me to go back to class and I made absolutely insane progress. Finished the entire living room. That's my backpack. Um, Cleared off the coffee table. I emptied every single box. Added more decor. Like I hung stuff up in here and then I'm gonna put books in there, but that's for my book video. The only boxes I officially have left are my books. Now my task is to order more hangers so I can hang up the box of dresses I have in my closet and then I have to break down all of the empty boxes that I've gone through okay I just got home from my second and final class of the first day of school seems good it's a professor I had last year and I really liked her so I took her again this is the hardest class I'll probably ever take in my major so I'm a little bit nervous but I did have my friend Zane in that class so we can like communicate you know I came here to say I'm about to film my book unboxing video of unpacking all my books and organizing them around my apartment making another book wall I'm having like a favorite shelf TBR. So if you want to see that that'll be a separate video after this one But I'm gonna film that right now. So then when I come back to you I can do a final finished apartment tour. Ew, this overhead lighting is not the vibe But I'm at my front door because it is time for the official apartment tour. I'm done unpacking I don't know how I did that all in a day and a half, but we did it We set our minds to it and we achieved it so You walk in the front door and we have my fridge and my beautiful kitchen that I actually really love and then if you turn this way, we have my bathroom that I also really love. I love my shower. It's huge. It has a little bench in there. Then you come out here. I have my full-length mirror right here just because I don't know where to put it. And I'm not going to go in the laundry room too much. But when I do, I can just not drop it again. Open this up. And we have my laundry. Very convenient. Obviously, my dishwasher. 
Coming in here to the living room, even though it's all one room. We have my book set up, which you can go watch my whole talking through video about that. What's going on down here and all this. Swing this way. We have my couch, which I hate. It literally looks like an air mattress or like, my friend said it looks like pool noodles with trash bags over it, but <laughs> that's what came with the apartment, okay? I can't change it. Um, coffee table, two little pillows from Ikea. Um, on my coffee table I have this astrology book because it's really fun when you have people over it to like compare your signs. Pride and Prejudice with my Jane Austen candle. Some tulips. Here we have my floor to ceiling windows. Oh, it's like lightning out there, so. Love my windows. Right next to that we have my desk. I do my makeup here, my homework here, and I eat here. So, these are my makeup drawers that I already showed, my desk. My mirror is from Amazon. Then we have my bed. And then up here, we decorated this together. We have my little TBR pile, those little decorations I hung, my fan. I need to sleep with that on because people are so loud out in the hallway. My tripod. And here's my closet, but I still have three boxes of clothes that need to be packed because I'm waiting for hangers to get delivered. I love that it's a walk-in so I can hide this stuff. And then right next to that is another book wall and my trash can. And that's just about my whole entire studio apartment just perfect for me and for what I need and it's so much bigger than last year if you can imagine last year I just had a bed and then this hallway I didn't have this whole extra space over here so honestly this is big to me that is gonna be the end of today's video I hope you enjoyed moving in with me I'm so glad you guys accompanied me through this process I cannot wait for all the videos and memories that I'm gonna make in this apartment we have a full school year here the longest I'll be settled in one place in five years like I said so but yeah that's gonna be the end of today's video I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video very very soon bye